In today's video, I'll be showing you how to import audio files into CapCut using a royalty-free track from the YouTube audio library, which is not attached to a video clip. The first thing you'll want to do is open CapCut and start a new project. Next, I'll select my video clip and add it to that project. This is the end screen for all of my YouTube videos. I'll just play it through so that you can see that it has no audio. But if you look at most YouTube videos, the end screens are accompanied with a music track. I have one picked out. All I need to do is add it to the clip using CapCut. If I scrub back to the beginning of the clip and then tap on audio, you'll notice that I have the standard options. I can add sound effects or use audio that's been extracted from a video. There are more. Take a look at them yourself down below. But what if you want to add an audio track? To do that, I'm going to close CapCut for now and search for the Files app. If you're going to use music in YouTube videos, you should make sure that you have the rights to the music that you use. The track that I use in my end screen videos comes from the YouTube audio library and it's called Pontiac Shuffle. So once I open up iCloud Drive, I'm going to Search for the term Pontiac Shuffle by just typing it in here. As I type it in, the audio file will appear. I can then tap on it to download it to my iPhone. Once the track downloads, it will open up like this. I'll play a few seconds of it. I know that this is the right track and the one I want to use. So I'll tap on the share icon, which will bring up the share sheet. Then if I look in the second row of apps, you can see that CapCut is available. So I'll tap on CapCut and then tap import to CapCut, which will automatically import this audio track into CapCut. You need to make sure that the video you want to use the track on is open first. That's why I close down CapCut by swiping up. If the video is not open before you export the track into CapCut using the Apple share sheet, your audio track may not import properly, even though you get a message saying that it was. To listen to your track, just tap the play icon. Notice that the audio track is longer than the video clip. To fix this, all you have to do is select the audio right at the end of the video clip. Once you select your audio clip, you can tap on split and delete the unwanted audio by tapping on the trash can. You can also tap on fade inside the audio options to fade the audio out as it ends since it's not the end of the video track. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. To do that, tap on Fade and move the slider labeled Fade Out Duration to the right. When you do that, the track will automatically be played for you so that you can hear the fade out. Make any adjustments you need. Once you're done, tap on the check mark. You can export your video by tapping on the export icon in the upper right hand corner. Wait patiently for the export to finish and don't interrupt it. When the export is finished, tap on done and you'll be taken back to the main CapCut project screen. For more CapCut tutorials, check out this playlist.